Hi everyone, this is Sia Georgi. In this video, I would like to explain implicit differentiation for A-level students and AP students. Okay, let's get to it. Um, the first example I wanna I want to explain is a cube plus a plus y cube plus three y equal to six. Okay, so we are gonna find dy by dx here. Yeah. Dy by dx. Okay. So the first step is we will gonna differentiate every terms with respect to x. So this one will be we do three x squared, right? And this one will be one, right? So plus one. And this one, if you differentiate it, three y squared and dy by dx. Because we are doing with respect to x. So. Remember, don't forget, when, whenever you do the differentiate y, you have to write dy by dx, okay? And then this thing, 3, 3y, three when you differentiate 3y, we get 3, and we have to write dy by dx, equal to 6. When we differentiate the constant, we get 0, so it is 0. And then, what we're going to do next is, we need to find dy by dx, so we're going to factor it out, okay? So, this 3a squared and 1 will go to the other side of the equation. So it will be negative 3a squared and positive 1 will be negative 1. And then we are going to factor out to have my dx. So these two common factor, okay? Common factor. So this will be left here 3y squared plus 3. And we are trying to find dy by dx here. So dy by dx is equal to negative 3x squared minus 1 over I'm gonna put here is multiplication when you switch it it will be division 3y squared plus 3 this is how we do implicit differentiation we differentiate every terms with respect to x 3a squared and 1 and this one important right when you differentiate y with respect to x so whenever you do the y differentiate the y you have to write this this one also, write this. When you differentiate constant, you get zero. Okay, this one. Okay, let me do another example. Let me erase this. Y squared minus seven Y plus A squared minus four A equal to 10. Okay, we are gonna find dy by dx here. Yeah. Okay, let's do. So now y. So it will be 2y when you differentiate it. And don't forget to write dy by dx. Minus, when you differentiate 7y, you get 7 and dy by dx. And x squared, right? x squared, you get 2x. 4x minus 4 equal to 0. And then we're gonna move it to the other side, so it will be four minus two x. Okay, and then this is the common factor. So I'm gonna do common factor dy by dx. So we're just gonna be left here two y minus seven, two y minus seven. And then you're gonna find dy by dx equal to four minus two x over. 2y minus 7. Multiplication and division. Okay, so let me show another example. It should be y cubed plus 3x squared y minus 4x equal to 0. Okay, let's do this. So y cubed. 3y squared and then dy by dx plus this one is going to be where to use product root here this one will be front this one will be back so uh, I'm going to differentiate this first and uh, I'm going to differentiate the second term first okay so I'm going to copy this first 3x squared and when you differentiate y you get dy by dx and plus And y, I'm going to differentiate 3a squared here now, 6x. So 
First one, you copy, and second one, you press shape. And plus, second one, you copy, and first one, you press shape. That's the F for that rule, okay? So, minus 4 equal to 0. And then you get uh, 4 would be positive 4, and this one would be negative 6 is 1. And we're gonna, we're gonna factor out the common factor here. So, d y by d x. So, what is left here is 3y squared plus 3x squared. And then, we're gonna multiply d y by d x equal to 4 minus 6x y over 3y squared plus 3x squared. That's how we do it. So, this one is just the first one you copy, second one you differentiate. And plus, second one you copy, and first one you differentiate. Okay? That's the product. Okay, let's explain next one. Next example would be sine would be a trigonometry. Sine x plus y equal to 2x. Okay, let's do it. Sine, when you differentiate sine, we get cosine. Differentiation of sine is cosine. I mean. So cosine of x plus y. This time we're gonna use chain rule. Okay. First we do that sine to cos, and then this we are gonna we have to differentiate again. So when uh, x, when we differentiate x, we get one, and then when we differentiate y, we get dy by dx. Okay. And then equal to when we differentiate two x, we get two, right? And the next step would be we have to. This one with times, so we're gonna be to by 1 plus dy by dx equal to 2 over cosine of x plus y. And then 1 will be separate that way. dy by dx equal to 2 by cosine of x plus y minus 1. This is how we do with the trigonometric fashion. Remember, I use the chain rule here, okay? So let's say it will be. This will be a, right? So I do like uh, differentiation of sine a over dA and then dA by dA, like this, okay? So this one, sine, I differentiate the sine to cosine, okay? And then I differentiate a, this a, when we differentiate, you get x with respect to x. So when you differentiate x, you get 1, and when you differentiate y, you get 2 by dx, okay? Then we switch it. Okay, let me explain some more examples. E power 2x ln y equal to x plus y minus 2. Okay, here is the product rule. So, product rule. I'm gonna differentiate I'm gonna differentiate L and Y. So it will be 1 over Y. When you differentiate L and Y, you get 1 over Y. Then dy by dx. Remember, don't forget that, right? When whenever you do y, there is dy by dx. And then plus, now I will differentiate this L and Y is here, and I will differentiate where it will be like e two x and then we have to use chain rule again here. E, e, when you differentiate exponential function, you get this exactly the same, and then you have to differentiate 2x, so you will get 2 equal to when you differentiate x, you get 1, and when you differentiate y, you get dy by dx minus when you differentiate the constant, you get 0. Okay, so I want to do is like this dy by dx and this dy by dx. No. Gonna times it here, 2x over y, and dy by dx. I'm gonna move this to here, minus dy by dx. Because we, we wanna find dy by dx, so we want it at the left side. And what is left here? This one, this one, and this one will be there. Minus 2 ln y, I'm gonna arrange it, rearrange it, like this. And I'm gonna use the common factor, dy by dx, factor of 2x by y minus 1. 1 minus 2 ln y e 2x. 
then we're going to divide dy by dx is equal to 1 minus 2 ln y e to x over e to x by y minus 1. That's how you do the implicit differentiation. Here I use both product rule and vision rule. I mean both product rule and chain rule, right? I differentiate ln y here. Don't, don't do it here. First one you copy, second one you differentiate. And plus, always plus, second one you copy, first one you differentiate. That's the rule for product rule. Okay, that's how we do product rule. And then this one is chain rule. Uh, differentiation on exponential function, you write it down exactly the same, and then you differentiate this 2x into 2. Okay, and the rest are just rearranging the equation and finding the dy by dx. Okay? Okay, let me explain one last example. Four x y square plus six x square over y. Oh, here it is. Question. We're gonna do question. This one brother. Okay, for let's see. This is the first second, okay? First I will copy and second I will differentiate. So 4x I copy and second I will differentiate 2y dy by dx. And then plus and then second I copy and first I differentiate 4. Okay? Copy shape. Copy, I copy this and then I differentiate do that and derivative. And then second one I copy here and first differentiate product rule. And then this one will be question rule. I'm gonna do square and then the down is copy and I will do this here. Differentiation of 6a squared by dx, right? Minus and a cup. Then 6a squared, sorry, this is 6 a squared and dy by dx. Zero. That's the question rule. Okay, so this will be 8xy dy by dx and then 4y squared. And this one I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna uh, wait, I have to, I still have to differentiate it. So y into 12 base, right? If you want, if you want, if you differentiate, just say square minus 6 a squared dy by dx times y squared equal to 0 okay 8xy dy by dx okay we're gonna be careful here the numbers are in a few so this one I'm gonna divide this by y squared so it will be 12x over y and then minus this one will be 6x squared over y squared dy by dx I'm going to separate the denominator and then we want to take out dy by dx so this here is 8xy and this one will be minus 6y squared 6a squared y squared I just did that did the common factor here right we are trying to find dy by dx so this one will end this one ends here negative sign and then these two things will be moved to the other side so it will be negative 4y squared minus 12x over y. And then you want to find dy by dx. dy by dx is equal to negative 4y squared minus 12x over y over 8xy minus 6x squared by y squared. Okay, that is how you do implicit differentiation. This is equation rule. The denominator will be squared first, and then copy the denominator and differentiate the numerator, and minus, copy the numerator and differentiate the denominator. This is a question rule. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.